Hey there guys, and welcome back to some more Digimon Survive. Now, last we left off, we were still in the prologue. We had just met this uh, professor, which his name is... Oh, just Professor. Okay. I thought he had an actual name. By the way, we just met this guy and discovered the inner shrine. We had ended it there. We had kind of checked, took a glance on the wall. Some lady and some kind of dragon Digimon, I guess. And then you have all these, uh, I guess more evil Digimon, I guess you could say, attacking. But yeah, I guess the next thing we do is talk to the professor then. Oh, and we're still in the prologue too, so hopefully we can get out of it uh, soon. Have you all come here to study the Kiminogami as well? Yes, we're on a school trip. But we actually came to look for some missing people. Our friends and that guy's sister. Yeah, he came to look for her. And this, the Kimono... Kimono... Uh, eh, Kimono Gami Shrine? I hope she hasn't been spirited away. Spirited away? Yeah, there's a legend about the Kimono Gami passed down since ancient times. But it's more than a legend. The stories are true, you see. True, you say? Indeed, it was once custom to offer up local children to the beast gods as sacrifices. How awful. It was a desperate measure to ensure the harvest, or perhaps to prevent disasters. Yet these children did not die, supposedly they were taken somewhere unharmed. So that's what you mean by spirited away. Yes, but the custom was lost to the ages in this anger at the ancient Kiman Kimanogami. Over time, such abductions were no longer a ritual sacrifice, but a curse or retribution. Many legends regarding such incidents have been passed down in this region. I place no faith in fairy tales, of course. There must be a scientific explanation. Some reason for the continuous disappearances since ancient times. I'm sure of it. I view this as a superstition, or a mental block designed to escape from reality. He seems pretty worked up somehow. Is he mad? Or upset, maybe? I know you came looking for your friends, but I'm glad you could see these legendary ruins. Interest in historical origins is a wonderful thing indeed. I hope it wholeheartedly. Ah, um, thank you, sir. Take a good look at this. Who knows, it may end up being of use to you all. Oh, and as you notice, I'm gonna try doing more of a... Since there's portions where you actually talk... Uh, sorry, uh, speak their dialogue for you guys rather than there being act an actual audio. I'm going to try to at least uh, differentiate between male, female, and certain characters. Just make it a bit more interesting. So these are all drawings of Kimonogami? They come in all shapes and sizes, huh? Hey, who do you think there are... Why do you think there are so many Kimonogami in the first place? Do you have a hunch, sir? Indeed, there are several possible explanations for all this. The unique terrain could explain the frequent incidents. Weak footholds, steep slopes, magnetic fields mess with sense of direction, and overgrowth in flora and fauna. Ah, like the red spider lilies, then. I believe there's something in the minerals around here that makes people lose their way. Creatures of the Kamenogami faith may have been altered somehow by the substance. I see, that would make sense. Oh, so worshipping like a queen. Or a sacrifice? Discovery of these minerals has led to rapid development of this region in recent times. A sudden population boom would naturally increase the number of missing persons. Dwindling resources, depopulation, likely absconding in the night from such troubles. 
I suspect the recent landslides are a result of unchecked development since the Showa era. Unraveling the issue piece by piece allows for a logical explanation of the legend. At least, that's what I think. Yes, learning from the past can help us in the present. Wow, thank you so much, Professor. What a wonderful and unexpected lesson we've learned here today. Yeah, much gr muchas gracias, Prof. Hey now, show some respect. Yes, but we're still missing for the... Looking for the missing... Uh, three. Huh, what's with this wall? Is this writing or something? Hmm, are these drawings or some kind of text? Yeah, something like that. There's all sorts of stuff in this crazy wall painting. I've never seen anything like it. Huh, something's written here. Maybe I can read it? Nope, not a word of it. This is just conjecture based on my investigations, but I think it says Agumon. As my research progressed, I learned that each of the Kimonogami have their own names. Is that so? So there must be a bunch of those things running around. Funny, Agumon. Some danger here. な、なんだこの霧。確かにさっきまではこんなじゃなかったのに。これうかつに飛び出したら、俺たちまで本当に迷子になっちまうぞ。それより、さきさんは、さっきの悲鳴って一体。え、こっち来ないで。え、な、な
This weird statue-like creature set its sights on the others. A creature? No. A monster? Professor, he followed us from the shrine? We have to save those guys from this monster. Uh, get closer and talk. まずは話しかけてみよう。そうだよ。子供が何かかぶってふざけてるんだろ。おい、ま、待てよ、修二さん。子供の体重でそんなに足が地面にめり込むわけねえだろ。あ。修二さん、危ない。たくまくん。<laughs> A creature we've never seen before is coming right at us. What's going on? What a crazy situation we've gotten into. Why the heck is this happening? <laughs> oh no, Oi. Owie fell down, and that rock monster's coming this way. <laughs> I can't let it hurt Owie. That thing just sent me flying. Everyone seems to be okay, somehow. The fog has covered the entire area. There's red spider lilies at my feet. So creepy. Oi! Mina! They're in for a world of hurt. Is there any way they can make a break for it? Am I going numb? Or did I take a harder hit than I thought? Where is it? Wait, what? We're falling through? I tried taking a step forward and the ground crumbled underneath me. I plunged into a gaping hole that seemed to pull me in. I couldn't even tell what was happening to everyone else. Unchecked development, recent landslides, the professor's words are coming back to me. And now we finally get the uh, 
intro cutscene stuff. <laughs> Probably a title too. So I guess it's showing all the partners that, we're, that we'll have. Yeah, it looks like it. I believe those two kids are the ones at the beginning. Well, I can't say I actually really like that uh, music for that intro. Pretty good. Pretty good. see anyone. Looks like they aren't here. Maybe I should take a look around? Well, it's interesting that we fell through and we're still at a place with the uh, trees and the spider lilies. All I can do is look around for now. The ground's collapsed all around here, but none of my friends are around. I should check out other places. Okay. They're not here. What a relief. That means they weren't caught up in the landslide. I should check out other places. Okay. Nope, 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 don't. Another deep forest. I don't see anyone here. Maybe I can find some trace of them in a different area? I should check out other places. Hear those sounds from before. Is it those stone monsters? Oh no, they're coming this way. I have to get the hell out of here. back to the shrine somehow. No one's here. Not a single person.
No responses. Where the heck did they... Oh, maybe I can get one of them on the phone. I'll call Minoru. あ、今何か動かなかったか。音が聞こえなくなった。襲ってくる様子はないようだけど。Hmm. Carefully move closer. Nanika Hmm. But to Minoru say, keep calm and wait. So yeba Anotokiwa Minoruga Nanka it ake Nandake Henna Monoga Utsuru Toka Nantoka. スマホのカメラで気配を見つけたことがあったっけ。撮影したら姿が見えるんじゃないか。よし、やってみよう。なんだ今の。一瞬だったけど、確かに何かいた。これなら見られるんだな。でも。また遅いかかられたらどうしよう。考えてばかりじゃ立ちが開かない。あたりをスマホで見てみるか。手がかりがあるかも。Okay, so we're gonna be using our phone to look around then, apparently. There. What? Then why was there a distortion? Right here. Nothing. Okay, so is there gonna be grass moving then? As well? Oh! What? what the heck is that? Some kind of creature? Doesn't seem like that rock thing from before. Hope it's a bit friendlier. Oh, it's gone? Don't tell me it plans to attack from the shadows somewhere. I'll survey other spots with my camera. Okay, so I should probably see it moving then? From whatever spot. Hmm. Okay, there's only the one over there. Let's try the second furthest spot. I found it. That thing from before is right over there. No doubt about it. What should I do? It doesn't look hostile, but... Still. Man, did it vanish again? This thing's quick on its feet. At least I think it has feet. I'll survey other spots. Alright, so next should be here. Bingo! There it is. Whoa, it's closer now.
喋ってるうわっこっち来るなこんな生き物見たことないぞ一体何なんだ何なんだこいつはこいつじゃない僕コロモンお前のことずっと待ってたコロモンお前って呼ぶなよ僕にはタクマって名前があるんだととにかく離れろってタクマそれが名前よろしくタクマ答えになってないっていやそれより待っていたってどういうことだよそれを聞きたいのはこっちだって少なくとも僕はお前と違う僕は人間だまだ子供だけど人間の子供初めて見るのになんだか変な感じたくまに会えて嬉しいわかんないよいいかコロモンとか言ったなよーく聞けよ僕はもう子供じゃないぞ中学生なんだしな中学生って何そそれはえっと大人ってことだ違くてとにかく子供じゃない子供じゃんほらほらそうやってすぐも気になるところもう,うるさいいいからこっち来るな First things first, I gotta shake off the weird critter somehow. I'll try and get away from the shrine. Really? But Koromon just seems friendly. So small and talk like a kid. Plus, it was so buddy buddy. Heck, the fact that it talked at all is weird enough on its own, right? Hmm, maybe I should look around more. What the? Something is moving in the grass. そこにいたのかこ,この距離では逃げきれないお
Or are we going into battle now? Stay Ugh, um Logically run away. こいつ。ずっとこっちから目をそらさないぞ。だけど見た感じ足は鈍そうだし。よし。ここは一気に。で、うわ。またとびかかってきた。うん。で、で、で、で。こいつ。まずい。また突進してくるつもりだ。逃げて。お前は衣。こいつは気が立っている。早く逃げて。ま、待て。足が進んで。僕はこいつを引き止めてるうちにさ。だよお前。弱っちいじゃないか。僕なんて構わずにお前も逃げろよ。だって僕はたくまを守らなくちゃ。うう。ダメかも。まずい。Karma will be in trouble if this keeps up. I can't believe that tiny little thing's risking its life to protect me. I know, I can't just run off on my own and let it fight to the death. But what?追いかけてこい。衣、せめてお前だけでも逃げろ。そんな悪魔を置いて逃げられないぞ。だからそれはお互い様だって。あ、そっか。絶対絶命のピンチなのに笑いが出るなんて。余裕だよな。僕もなんだかやれそうな気がしてきた。たくま、僕行かなくちゃ。おい、一体何を？大丈夫。たくま見てて、言ったでしょ。僕はたくまを守るって。Evolution to Aguman. Aguman. All right, now we actually get into a battle. Win condition, loss condition. Win, Gatsuman defeated. Loss, Aguman dies. Change difficulty battle. Win and fight can't. I just can't win. I may want to try changing the difficulty. Or we'll stick with the standard difficulty. Start battle. Crucial battle, so it would help to exercise some caution. Defending is an important aspect of battle. In your turn without attacking, you're using an item to defend. Defending reduces frontal attack damage by half. Attacks from the side or rear are unaffected. Try defending in this situation. Choose end turn. Okay. Then we're defending. Defending against the enemy's skill reduces its damage by half. Significantly lower the damage it took, also wasted the opponent's SP. Since the enemy attacked this turn, it can't defend. Make the most of this opportunity. Unleash your skill now that the enemy is defenseless. Choose the attack commands like Pepper Breath from the skill list. 
Ah, a classic move. And a ranged move at that. During battle, it's important to keep attack and defense in mind when you take your turns. Keep defending that way. Ooh. Um, let's move and try to save SP. See if that really does anything. Crit? Nice. Alright, cool. Victory. Nice. So we got levels. We got max HP, SP, physical attack and defense, special attack and defense, speed. Movement type is walking, movement amount is three spaces, vertical move is one. Potency crystal. Hmm. Wonder how that'll be used. Finally, we get some battle. Incredible. It really beat that monster. And what's with this appearance? This is the same Kuruma as before, right? As you explore an inner rewards battle, you obtain various items and equipment. Equipable items in particular can improve your abilities and let you use skills. Looks like you found an equipable item. Let's try equipping it now. Press options to open the pause menu. From the status screen, it shows your team members abilities and equipment plus their evolution line. X for more detail. R1L1, change categories, go to equipment. Be sure to check out these menus, really get the most of the game. Potency Crystal, physical attack plus one, special attack plus one. Looks like Sparks, does this affect attacking power somehow? Nice. Training. Guess it probably improves stats. Oh. Interesting evolution line. So it has three different options for three different levels, and then two for the final. And they can also get check their skills. Cool. Takuma,すごい戦いだったな。なんて無茶なことをするんだと思ったけど、まさかやっつけちゃうなんて。たくま違うよ。今の僕はアグモンだよ。アグモン。コロモンじゃないのか。うん。コロモンじゃないのか。うん。コロモンだったけど、今はアグマン。いや、よくわからないな。でも、とにかく。まずは俺を言うよ。助
一度後世に戻らないとなでもこんな見知らぬ土地で森の中霧で方向感覚もわかんないや霧あの霧の中には入るなよタクマファーグはい、didn't really notice before, but I think the fog got thicker。そりゃ、好き好んで入るわけないだろう。ただでさえ、ここがどこかもわかんないのに。またあの変なのに襲われたら、ひとたまりもないしな。またあんなのに襲われる可能性。あるのか。どうだろう。わからないなあハグモンさっきの石の化け物ってあれお前の仲間なのか First I've ever seen a thing like that Is this the true nature of the Kimano Gami? 仲間冗談じゃないあんな突然襲いかかってくるようなやつ僕の仲間でも友達でもないぞえいやダチとか連れとかそういう意味の仲間かって聞いたんじゃなくて大一僕はあいつらみたいに子供を襲ったりなんてしないいや同じようなタイプの生き物なのかって意味で聞いたんだけどんあいつらひょっとしてあの岩みたいなやつ以外にも化け物はいるのかいっぱいいっぱいいるぞでかいやつ、硬いやつ、空を飛ぶやつ、速いやつ、ケムクジャラのやつ、他にもいっぱいもちろん、いいやつもいるし、悪いやつもいる。どっちでもないやつもいる。いっぱいか。ちょっと頭くらく。There's tons of things like that out there. This is my first time hearing about this. Definitely my first time seeing it. And there's a bunch of different types too. What's going on? Maybe something happened back at the shrine to the Kamanogami? Like we accidentally broke some sort of seal on the place or something? I could have released those bizarre creatures into the world, right? That reminds me, Mia was talking about some retribution thing back there, wasn't she? No way, I thought that kid just had a weird sense of humor. Still, it doesn't feel weird to be with this talking creature. It's almost as if I've known this little guy for a long, long time. I'm going to これからどうしようかなって。This place shouldn't be that far from the shrine. あの岩の化け物にまさか全員やられちゃったってわけでもないだろう。誰かまだこの近くに僕の仲間がいるかもしれない。化け物じゃないぞ。岩みたいなやつなら、そいつの名はゴツモン。それぞれ固有の名前があるんだな。Wait, I swear I've heard a story like this before. Oh yeah, the professor mentioned a name back at that mur mural in the shrine. So these things really are the Kimanogami after all. とにかく、僕はこれから校舎に戻ろうと思ってる。その道すがらにはぐれた仲間を探したい。アグモンも協力してくれるか。お、僕は。ま、と一緒だ。分かった。よし、じゃあ。ああ、今のは悲鳴。うん。人間の悲鳴だと思う。あっちのあの声、多分ミノルの声じゃないか。神社の方だな。行ってみよう。